The Soviet T-64 main battle tank was the first tank to enter service with composite armor, with the initial version featuring a steel and aluminium turret. At the time, the most effective NATO tank round was the Chieftain's L-15 armor-piercing discarding Sabo, featuring a tungsten alloy core. The T-64 had a crew of three, as it utilized a carousel autoloader, removing the need for a loader in the turret. The reduction in fighting compartment size allowed for thicker armor, giving the T-64 unparalleled protection while still being lighter than many of its counterparts. The frontal armor was effective against nearly all NATO tank projectiles of the time, including high-explosive anti-tank shells. While the armor was effective, the aluminium filler made the turret cheeks protrude too far, blocking the driver's hatch when in certain positions. 